Hi, my name is Sean. Uh, this is my Echo story. Um, my first year ever on main camp was when I was going to eighth grade. Um, and the story happened on the, the last day of that session. Uh, I was in advanced biking, which was to this day one of my favorite camp activities I've ever done. Um, I was with the biking area head at the time named Joel, who was one of the coolest guys ever. He taught us how to like jump on bikes and like took us down these crazy trail rides. Um, super fun. And for the last day, we were gonna bike into Fremont and go to the famous pizza joint there, Spanky's, um, for lunch. I was super excited for it. I was looking forward to it all week. I don't even think I really slept the night before because I was just really looking forward to this trip. Um, and the day came, got up. I felt a little funny, but I was still super excited, um, full of energy, ready to go. Um, we did the bike trip. We got on our bikes and biked all the way to Fremont, which at the time was like the longest bike ride I'd ever done in my life. Um, and it was awesome. We were like singing camp songs and talking the whole time. Um, it was like we were biking along, you know, these big open uh, Fremont roads, and it was just a ton of fun. Um, we got to Spanky's, um, super excited for these pizza and breadsticks, and I realized I, I wasn't hungry at all. Um, I think I ate like half a breadstick and then I had to call quits. Um, and then we biked back. Still having a ton of fun. Um, still like one of my favorite um, first half of a day to camp ever. Uh, but when I got back, um, Joel uh, made me uh, go to the clinic. He was like, there must be something wrong with you. We got to Spanky's and you didn't eat a single piece of pizza after biking like um, however many miles. Um, so I went to the clinic. I was sure um, I'm just a little tired or something. I don't know what it is. Turned out I had like an over 100 degree fever. Um, had biked to Fremont and back with this fever. Um, the first half of my day, so of course they made me stay in the clinic for the rest of the day. Um, but honestly, it, it was a really fun day. I like, got to do that trip for the first half, and the second half I relaxed. I watched a movie, um, I think I had a popsicle. Um, then the campfire rolled around, and that's when I started to feel a little left out. Um, everyone was moving over to the, to the amphitheater to do that. Um, I had never done a closing campfire before, it was my first session at camp, so that, I was a little sad about that. Um, but um, I was sitting in the clinic, it was sort of, as I could see, sort of people filtering back in their cabins. Um, I heard a few people come in, I heard someone reading uh, the quotes that people had written about who won the respect hat. Um, and I was like, oh, I wonder why they're doing that. Um, didn't put two and two together until they walked into my room um, and they put the, uh, the yellow respect hat on my head and um, congratulated me. Um, they read these nice quotes that people had written about me. Um, and. It was just like one of the coolest moments ever. Um, that was sort of like that that day that got me hooked on Camp Echo. Um, I'm coming back ever since for I think eight years now. Um, but sort of moral of the story, this could have easily turned out being one of my worst days at camp. Um, had a fever, had to spend the day in the clinic, but it was easily one of my most memorable and one of my best days at camp ever.